Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here, and this video is all about the BlackBerry Passport. This is the only joking. This is about the Gear VR. Why else would we be wearing one? What's a Gear VR? Well, the clue is in the name. Virtual reality for your home, for your car, for, well, anywhere you're prepared to look like this. It offers an Oculus type user interface. It's powered by Oculus. Anyone who doesn't know, check out a gazillion videos out there on Oculus Rift. It's incredibly, incredibly cool, immersive. You can do a whole load of stuff with it. But as with most pieces of tech we get in we're going to start with an unboxing video so keep watching for that and stay tuned for much much more on this. Kicking off with the outside of the box and you can see this thing is big. Here is a size comparison with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Admittedly a big phone but a much much bigger box for the Gear VR. This is a universal headset. It fits teeny tiny heads as well as massive ones so it has to be as big as it needs to be to do that. You can see you've also got a picture of the Gear VR on the front powered by Oculus bottom left hand side. Taking a look around there's nothing really of note around any of the sides. Model number SMR320 but on the flip side that's where things start to get a little bit picked picture heavy and more interesting. We've got the Innovator Edition. This is only compatible with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Has a guide to connecting it with a phone which we can bring closer to frame so you can see. You've got the Gear VR, you've got the phone and then you have the front element. You've also got product key mapping. So you've got a touchpad as well as a back button and you've got some gestures with the touchpad. You also have volume controls. There's a cinematic wide view, immersive 3D experience and realistic VR game. We used this at IFA and it was really, really cool. Like it uses gyroscope, obviously you turn, it turns. Very, very smart stuff. The Gear VR requires the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, it uh, you can download VR apps from the Oculus Store. The gamepad is sold separately, and this includes a micro SD card with 16 gig preloaded with VR content. So that is the box contents expunged. But what about what's inside? Lifting up the lid on the Gear VR, we can see you've got a little element inside, or oh, not so little element even. We'd imagine this houses the main body, which we'll take a look at later. But you also have another envelope. If we open that up, this has what looks like a face goggly type thing to maybe protect your eyes or skin um, so that it cushions the what feels like a pretty heavy gear VR. So opening that up and we can see a few elements for starters. This thing that straps over your head connects to the gear VR and uh, we'd imagine just secures it into place. We have the gear VR itself and there is a lot of plastic. We'll be doing a lot of peeling later. And you also have that micro SD card complete with all the gear, gear VR software and a microfiber cleaning cloth it looks like. We can never ever have too many microfiber cleaning cloths. Yep, microfiber cleaning cloth, more necessary than on most devices because obviously you have to clean those lens elements. Um, putting the big box to the side and we can put it right in there. We can start removing some plastic and getting everything clipped together. We can see if we take the front off here, you've got the core, um, lenses there. You've also got a micro USB connector there. We'd imagine the Samsung Galaxy Note just clips into place and then clips like so and then indeed we just heard it vibrate which uh, we s imagine launched the Gear VR software. We can peel off some plastic and you can see the Galaxy Note right there. There's also plastic all around the side. We'll do the peeling after we film this as we will just be spending all day peeling plastic if we do it while we're with you guys. But what we can do is we can talk around the elements on the device itself. Um, you can see on the top there is a focus control. On the right hand side you've got a back button. You also have that touch pad um, and you have a volume control as well. Um, if we take a look at the phone you can see you've got access to the power button of the phone itself. But the volume control is at the base. It's not that easy to feel your way around. As far as buttons go, it doesn't seem to be all that uh, busy. Not too much going on, which is pretty handy. Um, we'd imagine if you can't see what you're doing, Samsung figured they wanted to keep everything as simple as possible. This element just clips on top and we can secure the top portion like so, so that you can play very, very 
comfortably. It is a pretty heavy piece of kit. Um, so if you've got a weak neck, you might want to consider that. Try one out before picking one up if you do indeed have a Note 4. You can see that front cushiony element is the same one that came in the box. So maybe in case that wears away or if it's a different size fitting to the one in the box, um, that's why it was there. But you've got the simple two lens elements and that Quad HD display powering everything along. Giving you a little bit of insight, it relies on the power of the Note 4. It doesn't actually have a plug. It's not, it's a literally a dumb device as if you were. So um, the Note 4 has all the software on board. And that is exactly what we're gonna talk about now. If we whack open the Note 4, we can unlock it, can jump to our Oculus application. And you can see we've got the Oculus Store loading up right there. You've got some featured games and experiences. Now it's divided into Samsung and Oculus um, under, in the featured section. You can also see you've got games, apps and experiences here. So if we take a look at some of the games, they're not going to be mega famous games. Although we do have Temple Run VR there. If we tap through on it, maybe we'll be able to pull up some screenshots. It's a first person experience, which uh, looks pretty different to the regular Temple Run. Don't know if it's going to rotate, doesn't look like it will. Jumping out of that, you have a range of other games available. A fair few considering this is a pretty uh, new bit of kit. Swiping back, you can see experiences. You can see you've got a uh, Coldplay concert, for example, an ocean rift experience and Cirque du Soleil. Um, we've actually seen the Cirque du Soleil one and that's mega cool. Um, it literally feels like you're in a circus. You can look at people, they kind of interact with you as well. Other elements of the user experience are also incredibly refined, which is great. You can get your videos playing back on this thing and your images by accessing the gallery. If we take a look at some of the applications that we've installed, you can see you've got um, an ocean type experience. Um, you've also, swiping through to applications, um, got access not just your photos and videos, but something called Oculus Cinema. What's so cool about Oculus Cinema is that it puts you in a cinema type environment and you can actually see some major, major titles or at least trailers for them for the time being. Don't know if there are any full films, but we'd imagine there would be. Um, if we scroll through, you can also see a range of games from first person type games, which VR really lends itself to um, right through to things like Temple Run, which looks like it is first person. We're gonna try all these things out. We're gonna really put the Gear VR through its paces and we're gonna try and figure out a way of filming what is going on in here so that you guys can see it on the camera so you can figure out just exactly how good this thing is and whether or not it is worth your pennies. So that's our first look unboxing with the Gear VR. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you've got any questions about it, fire them in the comments section below. If you like the video, click like. And if you like BTECs in general, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.